Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm a serious JG, doing that really smart thing that I do where I record for YouTube when I'm really tired <laughs> and <laughs> need to get up in the morning for work. Um, but yeah, there's like, we're in the tree of life that uh, provides all life essence to the world. I think we know that from dialogue. <laughs> It's a little, I'm, I'm getting fuzzy on what uh, I know from having seen the synopsis of the game at some point and what I'm supposed to know from the dialogue, but if this is the tree of life, uh, we're fighting a lot of zombie type monsters down here. I think something's amiss. Maybe we're going to find out what it is. Everything up there looked withered. This place looks totally different. It's so bright, I can't see the bottom. What the hell? You know, voice acting Zidane, more than anything, is making me want to, uh... Just start Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game. All the Metal Gear games all over again with Bobo. Which is not a real possibility. He's got two kids and a wife. But like every time I do this a day voice, I'm like, man, I wish Bobo and I were passing a controller back and forth and playing a PS5 remaster of a PS1 game right now. I guess we should try to get to the bottom of this. Hey, Sabine, I found something here. You know, between her and uh, that voice and Tao having, or DB having the Tao voice, it's really has turned into, like, I, I, I chickened out of giving, uh, giving Dagger the, uh, the Rizza voice, but, um, Zidane really is the only one who doesn't sound like he's in an atelier right now. Maybe it'll move like the last one. It didn't move when I got on. Stood on it? What the hell? Well... Why don't we all try getting on? Then we could all be doomed together when it collapses. Nod. And it patiently waits for us all. When I got on, I felt it respond. That's true, it kind of lit up a little when he got on. Perhaps it likes his tail. Guess we're in luck. There's no sense in worrying or wondering if there's extra significance to this, considering that we don't know my backstory. <laughs> and the game made a peculiar point of, of like, really making sure we realized that it reacted to me and not you guys. Whoa, what the hell? It sure freaked me out at first, but there's no wind or anything. Turn around, man. You get a really good look at a dagger right now. I guess that glowing powder is stopping the wind somehow. You okay, dagger? Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, damn, it's not enough syllables for me to do a voice with. I wonder where we're going. Yeah, me too. Maybe Mog can tell us something and get away from her, you bitch. I mean, him, you bitch. Sorry. What did you feel here inside the Ifa tree? Cooper. 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 Popo. Really? Oh, really? Cooper. All right. Thanks. Ooh, po Well, what's the word? Is it Thunderbird? What's the price? Is it 40 twice? Um, Mog says there's a lot of life beneath us. Rookles are fairies, so they sense life everywhere. Even in like the most boring and empty bars of all. But Mog says there's a whole lot here. I wonder if agents of Kuja are down there. 
What's the connection between Gucha and the mist? Huh? Incoming! All right, so regular battle? That sounds like regular boss battle. Regular battle music, not boss battle music. Yeah. Yeah, like one of their names faded out in the middle of that s screen for some reason. Interesting, they fade while still actively attacking when you kill them with life magic. Not actively attacking, but they're still doing their animation of like, you know, shit going down. And they fade out. Oh, I forgot to switch her to a... Uh, we may have had a suboptimal level up for her. Because I didn't switch her uh, accessory to something else. It was... Uh, yeah, we may have uh, had a suboptimal level up there. Can't believe it. There are so many strange monsters here in the Aoife tree. Could the mist be causing it? Beats me. The evil forest and Gargon root like unique monsters too. Hey, uh, Vivi, are you ever gonna talk or? But if the mist comes from this tree, how come it only appears on Zidane's continent? It's not his continent, you know. <laughs> We're all from that continent, except for you. I guess there has to be something that channels the mist. Yes, but the question is, why? I thought the question was going to be what? That... Is it Dane? No, that's Vivi. Hmm? What's the matter? Vivi? What's going on? Respond! It's a line from Metal Gear, but it's not a line that Solid Snake says, so... Oh, well, we got our opportunity now that it's too late to, uh... Switch people to different, uh... Yeah, she had Phoenix Pinion equipped, and I'm going to go out on a limb... ...and say Phoenix Pinion probably doesn't give you anything when you level up. But I suppose it's possible it does something. I should I should leave this unsearched. Ah! I could have fooled myself into thinking, oh, it probably gives you something useful if I had just left it alone. But I couldn't help myself. I searched it on my little uh, notepad file. Yeah, we completely wasted an opportunity to give her additional stat boost uh, points. All right, anyway. At least she's almost learned Phoenix. That's the main thing. I wonder, what's the matter with Vivi? Is something wrong with Vivi? What's wrong, Phoebe? You've been lost in thought for a while. Oh, was it ain't. I've been thinking about the mist. Do you remember the factory we saw on Dolly? Yes, the factory where black mages were being made. I was talking to him, not you. Huh? Black mages? They look a lot like Phoebe. Dagger. Well, it's true. What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But what's wrong with that? They do look like Vivi. Vivi is clearly somehow related to the other black mages. This is, like... I'm not sure why he's the only one that has childlike proportion, but he's clearly somehow related to the black mages. It's okay. I'm not upset anymore about being made and everything. Actually, I think I'm better than you. You're just a bunch of, like, random thrown-together chromosomes. I was clearly built for a purpose. Vivi. I was crafted from the finest, from the DNA of the greatest soldier who ever lived to be some kind of super soldier. Now we just have to find an evil version of me and find out that we were built using the super baby method. 
Anyway, that factory had a lot of mist inside, right? Oh, yeah. There was a huge machine filled with mist. That's right. And there were those strange eggs we saw. Yes, in Alabama, Supreme Court has just ruled that the eggs are alive. I mean, wait, there's got to be a connection between the mist, Kuja, and the black mages. Dots. I'm so confused. Yeah, you and me both, sister. Although it's starting to make some sense now. So we, we came... I can't remember. I mean, I could go back and look. I can't remember exactly why the King of Lindblom told us to come to this place, but... I believe our whole point of getting to this continent was to get to the Aoife tree because we knew that somehow whatever Kuja is planning, it involves the mist. But yeah, VB is making a good point. There were these weird mist powered machinery in the factory that was making black mages. And uh, Kuja does seem to be the mastermind behind it. So he's right. There is a connection between those three things. Huh? Another one's headed this way! I wonder how many of these battles we have. Because it's kind of making it tough to plan for a level up. I think I'm just going to attack. Save her MP because she's got a little bit fewer to spread. If this thing somehow survives two magic attacks. I didn't like that at all. But once again, it's doing its regular old, like it does its death sound, but it's doing its regular old I'm hanging out animation. These guys don't deliver a lot of uh, MP or uh, experience points. It'd be nice if I got a chance to switch gear, but I, I, not right now. Hey, I can finally see the bottom. These river bottoms. It's so deep! I don't know what's down there, but we'll soon find out. I thought he was about to say, like, you stay here, Dagger, which is, at this point, that's silly. She's been a member in combat a lot, but, like, I had this sense that his, like, you know, protect the pretty girl uh, instinct was about to kick back in. Come with me if you want to live. Are you going to make a helpless little girl like me go all by herself? Uh, no. What? Wait, there might be some monsters lurking there. Say, is it Dan? Don't you think they make a lovely couple? Mog said he sensed life down here. Do you sense anything? How the hell do you know what Mog said? I mean, I know that she... I know she claims to be translating for him, but... Yeah, but you sense it too, don't you? We don't even need Mock to tell us there's life down here. You're right. I can tell there's something down here. Okay, it's like a giant harp of some kind. All right, well, she knows Phoenix Pinion spell, and we it only cost us whatever she would have learned by leveling up. So we can work on MP plus 10%, which ain't... Carbuncle and Reflect is probably more useful. Fenrir and High Tide. Level up, I don't care about Locomotion and Healer, I probably do. MP plus 10 again. Auto haste and auto potion wouldn't be bad. Everybody else already learned auto haste. Is that what's going on here? You've learned it. You've learned it. Why do you have Sapphire equipped? Oh, you probably hadn't learned High Tide yet, but now you have, so...
Whatever we decided was your main thing to have Kucha or uh, Gold Choker. Speed Magic Spirit. There's Barret to teach. That's Speed Magic Spirit. That's Strength Magic Spirit. Magic and Spirit. I think Kakusha is probably the best thing. Because it'll increase her speed by a tiny bit. Magic by a decent, like a moderate bit. Spirit by one. Barret would be better for her strength. Where's her spirit at compared to her speed? Yeah, we'll go with this. Missing out on chances to uh, teach her new stuff. Because I'm just not paying enough attention. Although I think I have officially hit the point where it's just armor and accessories. Oh, armor and accessories from which she can learn stuff now. stuff. A lot of story going on down here, huh? What could this be? It could be a plant, but it also looks like a machine. Machine? What do you mean, machine? Well, machines are a type of mechanical device. I mean, well, it sure doesn't look like any normal tree. Yeah, it's weird enough that the inside of a tree looks like this. It looks like it's been here for ages. A hundred, two hundred years or more. I wonder if there's more dialogue I missed with her by going straight to Aiko after talking to her before. <sighs> Who do I talk to first? I don't want to miss any of the dialogue. Oh, no. Oh, there are some uh, hidden loots around here. Speak to your party if you like to continue. Use the field icon on the lower left, at the far left side, then speak to Dan. Okay, so we're actually supposed to find loot here. Um... A brigandine. Oh, shit! There we go. Damn, we've been waiting for that for a long time. We finally have ability up for this jerk. All right. Uh... I think uh, the next thing we're going to fight, I don't think is... No, never mind. It's considered undead. We don't actually want Mug on fighting a boss because... Uh, we'll end up... Um, you know, accidentally killing it without getting the steals off.
Mog is a little scared. So that sparkling water is a living thing. It's so pretty. So then you come and watch with me. Wait, no thanks. Oh, I'm hurt. Maybe in a minute. You can see some sparkling water down below. It looks really pretty. Maybe the mist comes from that water down there. So if the Aoife tree is the source of the mist, I'll come watch it with her in a minute. I want to make sure we get the rest of the loot first. All right, so there's an elixir, a brigandine. I'm glad I stopped and checked the fact here because it's an item that finally... God dang, we've been waiting for that for a long time. Uh, where the hell am I supposed to get a phoenix pinion? Oh, it's a drop that we get from the boss. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're about to fight a boss. Sorry, I guess I'm not hiding that very well, huh? Wanna watch your ride with me? All right. Yeah, never mind. I guess that's not it. Seems like the kind of thing that might advance the game, you know? Is it moving? Just my imagination. So much for Kucha. None of his lackeys are either. You mean the army of zombie dragons aren't Kuchas? Or maybe we have to go down there. Definitely sent something down there. Let's dive in. Let's, let's leap before we look. Zidane! What's up? But Mark's saying something's coming from above. From above? Dagger, come down here now. Ah! Dagger! What's going on? What's coming? Dagger! Are you all right? I'm sorry. I was just startled. Is something wrong? Over there. It's them. The warriors. They shot Cyrus. We better go. Can you stand? We better go too. Can you stand? Yes, let's go. Look, the wall is moving. You're right. It's like it's alive. I go Phoebe. Today, the wall's shaking faster. It's here. What was that? It's a monster zombie tree stone thing. So it wasn't Kucha. Huh? What's going on? I can hear a voice inside my head. Oh, somebody was saying so it wasn't Kucha. So it wasn't Kucha. And then. I guess, like, pick the wrong voice here. Huh? What's going on? I can hear a voice inside my head. You just said Kucha. Where is he? I do not know. What are you doing here? Are you the one who makes it mist? It is not produced. Mist is a byproduct of the refining process. It is discharged to the roots. Discharged. So it's sent to other continents through the roots, right? But why? Why would you do that? I contaminate the other continents with mist to stimulate the fighting instinct. This in turn leads to war among the leaders of nations and then to the fall of civilization. Kuja merely puts the byproduct to a different use. A different use? What is Kuja trying to do? Did JG really think through giving you this voice, or is he going to need it for someone else later? Uh, oh, it's George Washington. I cannot tell a lie. Kuja used the waste product to make wapets. Wapets. Like yourself. Huh? He's really ticking me off. Can I kill him? Wait, I can <laughs> Hold your bloodlust for now. <laughs> Iko, yes, of course we'll allow you to murder this creature, but not just yet. What kind of wapens did Kuja make? Kuja called them black mages. 
Peacock spawned with the mist. Huh? So the factory in Dali was really... Defeat me, and no more mist will flow. I'm not sure why I'm pointing that out to you, if I want to live a long and productive life of being evil. <laughs> and then no more whoppets like this puppet here will be made. Answer me, puppet. Do you deny your very birth? Oh, he's getting all sephiroth -y here. He does have a kind of a... Um, I don't know the story of Final Fantasy VII that well, though I am thinking I might play... Um, I'm really torn on whether I want to sometime soon play Final Fantasy VII, like the original game, because uh, I played Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX through the PS4 uh, PS Plus remasters, or whatever they're called. But um, Final Fantasy VII Remake might be interesting because it's got that, like, um, Team Ninja choppy uh, thing going for it, although it's not by Team Ninja. But uh, no, the, what I'm saying is I don't know Final Fa I don't remember Final Fantasy VII that well. Like, my memory of that is not as strong as my memory of most of the other games in the series. But this thing definitely has, like, a Genova thing going on. Answer me, puppet. Do you deny your very birth? Are you not? No more, BB. I won't let you make any more instruments of murder. Way to go, BB. I know it must be hard for you. We can knock off this rat right now, right? All right, let's bust him up. Who knows? He might even grow a cooter here. I have seen the end of my thousand-year life, and it is not now. You cannot stop me. It is futile even to try. Alright. So apparently it is futile to try. It's playing plot music rather than boss music here. But of course, we want primarily to uh, steal. See what info we can get on this guy. None. Oh, I'm sure we've. That did some pretty pitiful damage. We stole a magician cloak, which is not that exciting. Give it a few turns to do its attacks, and then I'll uh, fight it off-screen for a bit. So we can steal Mustard Bomb, causes heat, but I cheated a bit by giving everybody um, Body Temp. But if I hadn't, yeah, she would have a status ailment that we would have to spend a turn fixing, basically. Probably try the tent trick on him pretty soon. Level 5 death? Uh, ooh, I didn't think about this one. People have leveled up since the last time an enemy tried this on us. But not any way that hurts us, luckily. Stolen Oak Staff, I think? Uh, yeah, we've stolen thing that we actually want to steal is a brigadine, which we already have one of. But, uh, it's still worth stealing. I'm trying to see what other attacks does it have. It's got, a, it's got at least one attack we haven't seen yet that's worth seeing. And then there's a thing that the FAC advises you not do against it, that I want to do against it once just so we can see it. Shockwave's kind of pathetic. If we get a steal from it now, then I don't know. I guess I'll call it a video. But it's there's there's an attack I'm waiting to see it do. Wait, does it only do that? Uh... No.
Trying to let it get off its uh, fancy pants attack here, so that you can at least see it before we well and truly try to kill this guy. Here we go, Leaf Swirl. Isn't that impressive? All right, so I'm gonna just fight this thing off screen because we've seen its main attacks. I'm gonna fight it off screen until we steal everything from it that we want. And then we're going to do something uh, that I wasn't aware of, but the, ga the game guide here says don't do this. Uh, but I want to see what happens. So we'll figure that out next time. Bye for now.